Good evening. There has been a lot of mistakes in my videos lately, like the not inverted pattern or the tufted rug or the really wonky rose cage. Those two were fixed in their videos, but there have been mistakes in the past that I really feel needs to be addressed. Like this work table extension I'm sitting at, where I choose not to make the sides square. So then I had to cut some matching strips and glue them on afterwards. And now I can look at the table without barfing. Then we have the garden shed which I built without any ventilation holes. A really big mistake in the summertime. Luckily, this could be fixed in a crude way by just drilling some holes. Another garden project was the bench, which I left unfinished and put it on the lawn without any protection on the feet. Big mistakes. Luckily, this could be fixed by just some wood stain and some fenced post caps to protect the feet from the grass. For the underbed drawers, I chose domed screw heads for the sides to keep the aesthetic theme and because I wasn't sure if the IKEA flooring would take well to countersinking. But this turned out to be a real problem because the screw heads snagged on each other when you tried to move the drawers. Thankfully, it wasn't a problem countersinking, it was just a matter of drilling a lot of holes. The axe handle I made from a fallen tree turned out really well, except that the head came a bit loose after a couple of months. I think it was that I didn't let the wood dry out enough. This called for a second wedge, which I put in perpendicular to the original one, and this seems to hold the head just fine. The dragon bend cap turned out really well, except that I ran out of JB Weld halfway through the project and turned to epoxy, which I really shouldn't have, because the dragon lost a lot of teeth just in the first month. So this took some sanding, new chemical metal, and some paint, and hopefully this grin will stay on the dragon a bit longer. And then we have the power knife, and disregarding that this was a really stupid idea from the get-go that doesn't really have any functionality, the problem with it is that it doesn't work. Mere seconds after the last clip in the build video where I hung it in the ceiling, it just wouldn't turn on anymore. So I guess it's a short somewhere, or maybe I messed something up. But the, the thing to do is to go back to original ID and use these flexible LED filaments instead, which can be powered by just two AAA batteries. The question is, what color should we go for? Green? That is a bit bright. Red? A nice friendly color. But we were going for a sci-fi look. So neon pink it is. Guess the epoxy dropped off of that one. But yeah, that's something to fix anyway. Away with the power cord. Yeah, that might have been a problem. Theoretically, this would fit in here if it weren't for those pesky. So I guess we could keep that one if we remove that one and remove this part as well. And that would probably be the best way to go. And then the noodle could still be here. Yeah.
sort of nice. So here we are back at the kitchen table. And as you can see, we went with the tablecloth option because of two reasons. Firstly, these marks did not improve over time. Secondly, we got this really bad peeling of the varnish. So I guess it's back to the sander for me. As you can see, these are not splotches, it's just the sun coming in from the window. Deal with it. Ah. Now this is a lot better. Don't you think? Now there's one more thing that I would like to fix, but that deserves its own video. If you can think of any mistake that I haven't mentioned, just tell me about it in the comments. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a nice whatever you're having.